What's up guys, Scoob from Dirt Soldiers MX and the Motocross Training Academy. Thanks for showing up to this page, I'm glad you're here. Click that button below and get in our school. We're gonna show you how to become a better motocross rider. Teach you the skills, the, the techniques, to flow, to gain confidence, control, and have fun, man, and be a lot safer out on that track. Listen, I wanna give you two tips today that are gonna help you tremendously. If you apply these two tips right now, you roll out to the track tomorrow and you apply these two tips, they will help you tremendously. And what are these two tips? Number one, anticipate your power, anticipate your throttle, okay? The, the tip number two, what is it? Is anticipate your braking. You gotta anticipate this stuff. Our bikes are powerful machines and the two big forces we apply ourselves are throttle and braking. So how do you do this, okay? How do you anticipate the throttle? How you anticipate the throttle is, is you gotta get in front of that power. You don't wanna be behind that power. Being behind that power is gonna pull on you, give you arm pump, put you in the wrong body position. It's gonna tire you, wear you out quickly, right? So you gotta lean forward into the force of acceleration. So anytime you're accelerating, and the, the big time this is the, 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 the big moment this is gonna happen is exiting a corner in the exit decks of a corner, right? You're gonna be in the seated attack position. And all you wanna do is, is the, it's a timing thing. Motocross is a massive timing game, but you lean forward from the waist up over the handlebars and get in front of the power you're about to deliver. This will help you tremendously. Like I said earlier, you don't want to be behind this power. If you're standing, you're going to do this. Like I said, you're going to see this most seated powering out of a corner when you apply that hard throttle coming out at the exit decks of a corner. But in the standing, you can do it also. But you're in the standing attack position. You just lean forward from the waist up and get in front of that power you're about to deliver. Okay. And how? so there, that's how you do that practice that next time you're on the track you go out i promise it'll help you so much you'll flow so much better all right tip number two is we got to anticipate our braking so how does this happen this happens when we're coming into the corner because this is our entrance decks right coming into a corner this is where we're going to apply the most braking could be a lot under under uh, uh you know if you're falling the mail you're going really fast you're going to apply more braking right so what you got to do there is row back into the force of braking get to the back of the bike and how you do that is is with your knees tight against the bike you, you slide them along the seat a little bit um, you put a little squat down in the hips and your butt goes back towards the back of the seat it's not a, depending on how fast you're going actually if you're coming down a big downhill into a corner you're going to make a bigger movement but that's how you make that movement that's how you anticipate the braking okay you get back to the new center of balance because all that force is coming forward you don't want your body weight up there it's going to put too much force or too much weight on the front of the bike all right and also when you make that movement back remember this tip don't wait a lot of weight down through your arms into the handlebars that's not what you want to do okay so that's it guys, Ro lean forward into the force of acceleration, go back against the force of braking. I guarantee you, you go out and take this tip to the track tomorrow, even if you screw it up some, you don't get it exactly right, I promise that it'll make you feel a ton better, okay? You're gonna be moving correctly on the bike now, and you're gonna find yourself in the new center of balance, and you're gonna flow a whole heck of a lot better. So there's our two tips, get out and practice them. Listen, join our school, you will learn this, hit the button below, get signed up. Um, $50 deposit to hold your spot. I'm only taking 10 people and you will learn these techniques and a whole heck of a lot more. These two techniques, well, I'll teach you to a T and how to do them exactly. And you're going to see massive improvements in your coring, guaranteed. So all this and much more, join below. Talk to you guys soon.